Hello everyone, welcome to Irfan CFPS YouTube channel. In today's class, we shall go through commodity classifications as per NFPA 13. Let's begin our class with types of commodity classifications. Commodity classifications are broken down into class 1 through class 4 and group A through group C plastics with class 1 being the lowest hazard level and group A expanded plastics being the highest hazard level. Let us go through commodity classification what it refers to. Commodity classification is used to categorize the contents of storage occupancies so that the appropriate sprinkler system design can be identified. Commodity classifications are determined by not only the product but also the packaging of that product, the container those packaged products are in and even the pallet type. In order to understand this statement, let us have a look of an example. We have a glass jars stored in a double layered cardboard box with cardboard dividers and it is sitting on a reinforced plastic pallet. Even though the glass jars are only a class 1 commodity, the cardboard box and plastic pallet increases the fuel load so that it should be considered a class 4 type. In this slide, we shall go through class 1 type commodity. Class 1 type commodity is defined as a non-combustible product that meets one of the following criteria. Class 1 commodity is placed directly on wood pallets, placed in single layer corrugated cardboard boxes with or without single thickness cardboard dividers and shrink wrapped or paper wrapped as a unit load. Class 2 commodity. It is defined as a non-combustible product that is insulated wooden crates, solid wood boxes, multiple layer corrugated cardboard box or equivalent combustible packaging material. Class 3 commodity classification. It is defined as a product fashioned from wood, paper, natural fibers or group C plastics with or without cartoons, boxes or crates. A class 3 commodity shall be permitted to contain a limited amount that is 5% or less by weight of non-expanded plastic or 5% or less by volume of expanded plastic of group A or group B plastics. Let's go through class 4 commodity. Class 4 commodity classification is defined as a product that meets one of the following criteria. Class 1, 2 or 3 products with limited amounts of group A unexpanded and expanded group A plastics and also if the products are constructed partially or totally of group B plastics, it will come under class 4 commodity. Apart from that, a product which consists of free flowing group A plastic materials will also be comes under class 4 commodity classification. Plastics are a little more straightforward since there is a specific list of what each group contains. Classifying plastics gets complicated when the commodity being stored is a combination of different group of plastics. As you can see on your screen, group A plastics, group B plastics and group C plastics. Group A plastic are further subdivided into expanded and non-expanded group A plastics and consists of the plastics such as ABS, acrylonitrile, butadiene, styrene, copolymer, FRP, fiberglass, reinforced polyester, polycarbonate, PVC and so on. Apart from that, group B plastics are treated as class 4 commodities and consists of chloro Pyrene rubber, fluoroplastics, ethylene tetrafluoroethylene, etc. And also group C plastics are treated as class 3 commodities and consists of 
फ्लोरोप्लास्टिक्स मेलामिन फेनोलिक पीवीसी पीवीडीसी पीवीडीएफ यूरिया एक्सेट्रा लेट अस हैव अ लुक अबाउट एलास्टोमर्स एंड रबर्स एलास्टोमर्स एंड रबर्स कम्स अंडर ग्रुप ए प्लास्टिक्स एंड वी कैन रिफर टू एन एफ पी ए थर्टीन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन एडिशन चैप्टर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव फॉर मोर एक्सप्लेनेशन वी शेल गो थ्रू सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ कॉमोडिटी क्लासिफिकेशन प्लीज नोट दैट नो नीड टू रिमेंबर एनी टाइप ऑफ कॉमोडिटीज we have to know how to check nfpa 13 table a.20.4.1-4 and table a.20.4.5.1 based on these tables we can identify the commodity classification for example if you see water based paint comes under class 1 classification meat wrapped in paper no plastic trays involved so class 2 frozen foods on plastic trays comes under class 3 shotgun shells carton comes under class 4 group a plastics butane lighters silicon rubber food storage boxes comes under group b plastic or class 4 commodity pvc pipes with up to 20% plasticizer this comes under class 3 type or group c plastic type all this can be found in nfpa 13 tables as shown on the screen i hope you enjoyed the video in next class we shall go through pipe supports such as hangers riser supports and pipe stands thank you all and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to learn more on fire protection systems make sure to hit the subscription button below and click on the notification icon to get the updates thank you once again bye